By February 1945, bombing raids on the Japanese home islands had become commonplace. But the B-29s taking off from airfields in the Marianas still lacked effective fighter protection. The island of Iwo Jima could provide a base for American fighters. And so the decision was made to make an amphibious assault on Iwo Jima beginning in February 1945. It would be the first of two amphibious assaults that would be amongst the bloodiest episodes of the entire Second World War. On February the 19th, 1945, American Marines began their arrival on the beaches of Iwo Jima, and it seemed at first as if their task would be a simple one. The island had been subjected to a ferocious bombing campaign, and the landing troops encountered nothing in the way of resistance on the shores. But it was a very different story inland. Under the command of Tadamichi Kurabayashi, a total of 21,000 men had dug themselves into deep defensive positions, with the peak of Mount Suribachi a focus for the defense. Within hours of landing, the American Marines realized that these soldiers would have to be flushed out almost one by one, with explosives and flamethrowers often proving more effective than infantry or artillery fire. <laughs> 